Good day, gentle audience. It's me, the Nutcracker. Looks like you're new to this place. Glad to meet you. First time visitors see me as a toy and just walk by. But our students can tell you that I am in fact a dancer. Even though most of the time I stay here, my elevated position allows to see and hear everything. So I do know a thing or two more than you would think. This is Victoria International Ballet Academy, one of the most professional ballet training schools in Canada. It is 10 years old, in fact, older than most of its students. The new two-story school building has academic classrooms and four spacious ballet studios with ceilings so high that these alone carries a powerful motivational message. After all, the environment that surrounds a person in early years soon becomes part of his or her own model of the world, affects self-esteem. At school age, children spend most of their day outside the family. Who, where and how teaches them? What they learn ultimately determines who and what will become of them. This school is not the only one in the world where ballet was made an integral part of the educational process. And yet, unlike most, the academy employs not just talented ballet dancers who have completed their artistic career, but professional educators. They do teach all the intricacies of the classical ballet, but more importantly, they use it as an educational tool. I know what I'm talking about. The diplomas of the graduates of the St. Petersburg Vaganova Ballet Academy Pedagogical Department, Victoria Mironova and Helen Mitrova, are right here on the wall next to me. Besides, the very atmosphere in the four spacious ballet classes is even more telling than any diplomas. Strict and demanding, yet at heart kind and caring Victoria Mironova, who is the founder and artistic director of the Academy, and its principal Vladimir Demin, who unfailingly remains attentive to the students' needs, combine their efforts to create an amazingly warm, homely environment which is immediately sensed by the children and their parents. The second floor is occupied by the students of the day school. Apart from choreography, they learn most of the general courses required by the Ministry of Education curriculum to qualify for the Ontario High School Diploma. Children also have the opportunity to excel in visual and performing arts like music and singing. Quite popular are the Russian and French language courses. Good training get those who attend evening classes in ballet or the modern dance lessons. Those who are lucky to study at the academy and be inspired by its professional teachers and motivated peers soon develop an urge to succeed, live a better life, experience it as a fairy tale come true. The first graduates of the school have received excellent education and successfully continue their studies through scholarships from universities in Canada and abroad. Young ballerina Anastasia Loskutova is completing an internship at the Veganova Ballet Academy in St. Petersburg, Russia, and has already performed on stage of the world's famous Mariinsky Theatre. Elizaveta Mironova is completing her internship at the State Opera and Ballet Theatre in Kiev, Ukraine. Both girls already have contracts with respectable ballet companies, and there is many more success stories in the making to be told. The school became known all over the world. It now boards students from Japan, Korea, America, Russia, Mexico, Germany and other countries. Their flags hang high above in the main foyer. Heads up to see them all! In May 2013, our Academy celebrated the 10th anniversary of its founding. Open Doors event and the little concert attracted much attention. With not enough seating to accommodate all, extra chairs and even gymnastic benches had to be brought in. Short ballet pieces were intermixed with instrumental and vocal performances by students of the Department of Music. In the adjoining class, the Visual Arts Department hosted its engagingly popular children's drawing competition. 
the next one held an open ballet lesson for beginners at different age groups and the dance department students' rehearsals. All of that was fun to watch, but personally, I would rather make visitors see the performances of our ballet company. It is there where I come to life. My magical transformation takes place every year on the Christmas Eve at the professional stage performances carrying my name. The shows are performed by the students, graduates and invited dancers from some of the best ballet companies, with my participation of course. Four seasons in a row, all tickets to the four-day events were sold out in advance. This season there will be five days. You will see me there in a very different role. Strong and elegant in the dance, defying gravity in the jumps. Remember, I'm not just a nutcracker, but also a graceful and handsome prince. Come to our performances and see for yourself. And in between the shows, I stand still here on the cabin. Always glad to have a chat, or maybe just exchange a few words with an intelligent person like you. My address is easy to remember. 1 7 Bradwick Drive, Old Cabinet by the Entrance, Top Shelf. Do not hesitate, bring your children. We may have a lot to talk about.